Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, even Plasma coming up, coming at you with a live commentary. I'm gonna be doing uh, uh, Seth calls for the mount, and let's just look right here. I have done it. The guy who hacked me, I got hacked a while ago, and I never did Mana Tombs or Botanica, but as you can see, he did it 310 times and 110 times because I did it one more time. But I've done Sephikos 69 times. Uh, I don't know if I've killed Raven Lord more or less, but I'm just gonna take that as a rough amount. So let's make sure it's set up on heroic. There we go. It's been long overdue for the mount. I think I'm gonna. <clears throat> Getting impatient with this mount. Regardless that I'm at 100 plus mounts right now, I still want that Raven Lord. It's a sexy mount. I try to skip as much trash as I can because uh, I'm not really here for money and I have plenty of gold, but if you're here for like disenchanting mats or uh, nether weave cloth, um, I'd recommend just. Uh, clearing it just because it's a uh, it's pretty decent on greens and uh, uh, the, the, the nether weave cloth which you can make in the bags or sell it <clears throat> uh, these two guys right here can be s skipped but it seems kind of uh, random whether you pull it or not so I, I choose just to clear it I normally wouldn't loot this stuff, but what the hell? I'm gonna pull these guys straight to the boss. This boss can be skipped, but his aggro range is actually pretty big, so I just choose to kill him. He's, it's not like he's in trouble. I would disenchant the blues, but I have quite the collection of large pr uh, the, the prismatic shards, I think it is, and the epics too I vendor just because I have way too many void crystals. It seems that there's a lack of uh, greater planar essence and uh, arcane dust. Uh, I, I did. I, I make, uh, I choose to make the uh, Mongoose enchantment, which, um, if you don't know how to get it, um, and you're an enchanter, uh, simply just get a buddy raid group, and, um, all of Karazhan can be soloed, I'm pretty sure by any class, it's pretty easy, let's actually do it every week just for gold and netherweave, but, uh, and enchanting mats, but, um, uh, if you, you can, um, if, the, right at the front door at the, of Karazhan, just, uh, go up the big stairs and take a left, I think it is, and then, there is a boss called Moros and a bunch of trash. Just clear the trash and um, Moros goes out like a chump. You just just kill him and his ads. And uh, I think the the chance of the mongoose enchant dropping is pretty good. I got it my first time, and I'm quite I'm I'm an unlucky person as you can tell. I've done this place 70 times now and there's no not been a mount. So I'm not gonna loot these guys. They usually just drop like wings or feathers. I do drop greens, but eh. And uh, about the, the next patch, the old Call to Arms daily dungeon thing, I think it's actually kind of funny that the, it kind of excludes pure DPS classes from having a chance at the mounts. And uh, currently I have like a, I have a heal, right here, a holy PvP set, uh, but uh, I don't see myself running any of Rolex, I really kind of tired of those.
it's Tango. The most annoying part of this fight is that he goes immune. He just prolongs it. Uh, and the stun is kind of annoying, but... explain this on how to do it because chances are if you're interested in getting this mount you already have done this place and it's not like it's hard anyway. I wonder if I could pull the next boss. I'm gonna try that with him. I'm gonna kill him while I'm killing him. That'd be pretty cool. I might throw some music in here. Because I understand my voice is kind of boring, but I might throw on some music. Here we go. Oops, nope. Oh, anyway, uh, that's been Seth the Calls, and I'll keep plugging away at this mount, but, uh, that's all for now, and um, have a good day.